The other day, I was thinking as I was getting ready to come to work, how I've never left the house without clothes. Now that probably doesn't come as much of a surprise to you, but the fact is that none of us ever have to think about getting dressed. When I wake up in the morning, I go through routines. I generally get up as soon as my feet hit the ground, I turn around, I make the bed, and then I plod off to the bathroom. In fact, these are habits. They're set in deep within us from the time that we've been younger. We, we have a routine. We have ways of developing morning grooming habits. And what I was thinking about is with all the amount of time that I spend between brushing my teeth, taking a shower, bathroom different functions, and grooming, and then combing your hair, and then even to the point of maybe you iron your clothes or you at least go through a routine of laying your clothes out and putting them on, we spend quite a bit of time every day getting ready before we leave and make ourselves presentable. As I was thinking about that, it kind of hit me. Wow, I spend so much time putting clothing on. Am I, am I preparing myself spiritually in the same way? God tells us in Romans chapter 13, verse 14, it says, rather, Clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of the sinful nature. Well, it's almost as if God has given me a wardrobe, a spiritual wardrobe. But it's my responsibility every day to put that on. Just in the same way that I put this shirt on, in the same way that I brush my teeth and comb my hair, I have to prepare myself mentally so that I am spiritually ready to go out and be presented to the world. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5, it says, Young men, in the same way be submissive to those who are older. All of you, clothe yourselves with humility toward one another, because God opposes the proud and gives grace to the humble. We're to be clothed with humility. There's a lot of verses like this. And as I was thinking about it, it was just kind of hit me. You know, I want to look at some of these put on verses, as in putting on clothing. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 10, it says, and have put on the new self. We need to take a conscious effort every day and to almost step in that spiritual clothing. Now, as I was thinking about this, when you go out into the world, what is it that people see? Well, certainly they see your face, your image, they know who you are, but they see you clothed. They don't see you, fortunately, they don't see you naked. You know, that would be pretty embarrassing. In fact, as I was thinking about this teaching, I thought, if I think about my good friends, I never think of them naked, thankfully. And why is that? Because they wear clothing. So in the same way where God says we're to be clothed with humility, we're to put on the new man. What is it that people are supposed to see, remember about us, think about when they reflect on Possibly they're meeting with me, Dan. They're supposed to think about how I was. Maybe they don't think about the specifics of the shirt that I wore or the shoes or how I combed my hair, but they see me dressed. In the same way, we can prepare ourselves in the morning, taking time to put on the new self, to be clothed with our spiritual clothing, to put on righteousness and holiness and humility so that when we go out into the world, that's what they see. They see us in this spiritual state. Now, there's a couple things as I was thinking about this that we can do to get ourselves ready. One of the things is, just in the same way that I brush my teeth or comb my hair, take time every day to just, to just pray, to be with God. It doesn't have to be a big deal, and I know prayer doesn't always have to be on your knees, but I think it really is important just to get quiet for a few minutes, to thank God about what it is that I'm doing, in fact, the beauty to this teaching for me was I now use the habit because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to connect that when I physically get ready, I want to spiritually get ready too. And I really don't have to think about when I brush my teeth, I unscrew the, the, the toothpaste and, put, and then squeeze the toothpaste and put it on the brush and you know push left, push right, push. I don't think about that because brushing my teeth is a habit. But now when I think about how I'm getting ready physically and dressing, it reminds me I need to be spiritually ready. 
while I'm brushing my teeth, I can be thinking about my day. I can be praying. I can be thinking about coworkers. I can be asking the Lord, what is it, Lord? Is there anything special you need me to do today? In other words, what I'm trying to say is just be conscious about the spiritual clothing that you're putting on. Also, as you dress, that's a wonderful time where you can where you can just meditate on a couple things that the Lord may reveal to you or, or a couple other things. So as you go about, just think about this, that like in Psalm 50, verse 14, it says, sacrifice thank offerings to God, fulfill your vows to the Most High. Are you making vows to God? If you are, that's a wonderful time to do it. Well, God, I promised you I was going to do this. It's time to check in with you. How am I doing? Or Psalm 100, verse 4, enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. It's also a wonderful time for me just to sit back and to check in with God. And, and while I'm doing this, just to be thankful, just to offer up, you know, some praise and thanks for God, for the house that I'm in, for the great sleep that I had, for the food that's going to be on the table that I'm walking out to the breakfast. So my encouragement today is take time to get dressed. But get dressed spiritually. And as you do physically, remind yourself, I also need to be spiritually ready as I go out into the world. Because when I clothe myself with the Lord Jesus Christ, that's what I want people to see.